Good evening and thanks for joining us on 21 News at 6. After learning the death of a Sharon teen, community leaders are vowing to keep her name alive. As the family heals, LGBTQ organizations want to stand up in any way they can. Caitlin McCarthy spoke to them about their efforts to support the community through its grief. Caitlin. I spoke to two different organizations who both say they hope their support will not only help the community move on, but also show unity in the LBGTQ community. This is like so close to our area. There's, I don't know, everyone's just shell shocked. Reaction from a community leader after hearing the news of Sharon transgender teen Polly Likens. Likens was murdered last month and her remains were found in the Shenango River. Multiple LGBTQ groups and community members have shown support for Likens and her family. With the blessing from Likens' family, the Shenango Valley Pride Picnic is hosting a candlelight vigil July 13th to make sure Polly isn't forgotten. As everyone gathers for the vigil, pictures of Likens will be on display. The president of the Shenango Valley Pride Picnic says they hope this shows community support for the family. Oh, our hearts go out to them and I think the best way to show them the love is for us all to gather and say, hey, we can't do anything for you other than to just say that we're trying to be here for you and we hope that that gives you some comfort. Members of Full Spectrum Community Outreach are attending the vigil and are offering Polly's family additional support. Uh, we're currently in the process of reaching out to Polly's family. Um, to offer our support, um, whether it is through our peer support groups, whether it is through uh, helping to refer grievance counseling, where it's offering our center if the family wanted us an event at the center. A GoFundMe was created after the announcement and surpassed its goal of $15,000 in less than a day. With more local news, I'm Caitlin McCarthy.